In this video, we're going to learn how to extract data from OpenStreetMap. In the introductory video, you have seen how you can search for certain things that have a name, but a lot of historical features might not have a name, so you can't search for them in the normal way. But there's a way to do that, and that is Overpass Turbo. But first of all, I'm going to show you what you can do with it when you've reached a higher level in OpenStreetMap skills and in map making. Bear in mind, I don't have a degree in computer science. This is all just self-taught. So we're going to go to tinyurl.com slash aha. And that is a map I made in 2020 for my field names project. So this is a map of Ireland. Uh, the tractor is just a little gimmick I made to just to try it out. A map of Ireland and all the green highlighted pieces are fields or forests. So I'm going to zoom in on where I collected a lot of field names. And the closer you zoom in, you can see the field names then. So this is Kilkiran um, Valley Foil in northeastern Kilkenny. And you see the green fields are fields where I surveyed the field names recently. And the yellow ones are the old names because the Kilkenny Archaeological Society has a map of this area. It was owned by a Thomas Cahill or Cahill in 16 and he made a map of his whole estate and put all the field names on it, which is really handy for research. But it's in the library in Rothhaus and not really anyone has access to it. So I used them for my map. And you see the the italic ones are the old names and the straight font ones are the recent names. And what you can also see is that I've added some lime kilns where people told me there used to be lime kilns. And I added them in OpenStreetMap, not just on this map. And also ring forts with this symbol churches and castles. There's Cantwell's castle. Because a lot of the names do refer to features like that. You see you have court field here and this is also court field. And you get um, where you have a kiln, you all often get kiln field. Sometimes it's called kill field for some reason. Or you get castle field where you have a castle or chapel field where that's, for example, in Ballyfoyle. You have the chapel field and the, the church is here. It's just not displayed with, because I only searched for ruined churches and church sites where the church is no longer there. Or like here in Ballyfoyle, near Ballyfoyle Castle, we have the old street or maybe there used to be a village there at some point and lower old street. And how do we extract this data? We use Overpass Turbo for that. Uh, that's been developed by Martin Reifer, who's from Germany. Quite a few apps uh, and neat things for OpenStreetMap were de designed and developed by Germans. When you open it, overpass-turbo.eu, it automatically brings you to Rome for some reason. And you see there's a lot of historical sites in Rome, judging by all the amphoras and churches, as you would expect. So I'm zooming out and go to Ireland. And you have a menu here, run, share, export, wizard, save, load, settings and help. We're going to look for graveyards in Kilkenny, in County Kilkenny. If you've watched the introductory video, you know how to use the tag for graveyards. It's amenity equals grave underscore yard. It's very important to get the spelling right. If you're unsure, just use the wiki, wiki.openstreetmap.org. So amenity equals grave underscore yard in and I'll put it in quotes just in case, County Kilkenny. And then 
I hit build and run query. And it takes a while to find them all. And this might happen as well. So I might have to wait for a bit. But in the command window, you can see that it has translated our wizard, um, what we've told the wizard to do into proper code. So up here, it describes what we're looking for, amenity graveyard in County Kilkenny. We know that, we know that already. And out JSON means that's the file we're going to get. Timeout 25 means after 25 seconds, it will give up on the search. If you're looking for something, a huge amount of data, you might have to opt that to say 65 or even 125 seconds. And then there's all the code, geocode area, county Kilkenny. So that's how you know how to look for a certain county. If you're looking for a limerick, you just, you know, replace this by limerick, for example. I won't go into all the detail about the coding because I actually don't understand it all. But if you use the wizard and you have one successful search, you can just adapt your um, code. Down here we have um, the things that it lo is it's looking for. Node, way and relation. Node is what we define as a point. So if someone has... Um, mapped a graveyard but not as an area and just put a, a point in like we did with the castle in the introductory video then it will look for that which is good because you might think that everybody maps them as areas but not everybody thinks the same way you do so you have that all covered the next one is way which is basically um, everything that is covered by a line or an area so it doesn't use the exact same terminology as the editor, but you can get used to it. And then relation is something we haven't talked about. That is, um, if you have, let's say you have um, a castle complex with several buildings, you can make all this, the separate buildings part of a relation and you can name the relation castle so-and-so. But um, I might do another video explaining that a bit further. Just these are the three things it is looking for. Nodes, ways and relations. And that's three lines. But you can shorten that actually to just one line. By replacing node with NWR. Or not really replacing. Just use NWR. Which you see is the abbreviation for node way relation. And then just delete these two. I will go back to the normal way to do it and show you that the result is the same. So there we go. It has found all the graveyards that are mapped in County Kilkenny, which is quite a bit. And let's just zoom in on Kilkenny City. We have Patrick's St. Patrick's graveyard here. See the outline, it's defined as a way. And we have St. Mary's there. St. Rocks and so on. And when I click on one, say it's St. Patrick's, this is the way it is uh, defined as. And you, if you click on that, then it will open the OpenStreetMap website and you can edit this way or anything really around it. And it gives you an alternative name, Dean's Ground Graveyard, Amenity Graveyard. I mean, we know that it has this tag because we've been looking for that. Name, St. Patrick's Graveyard, Religion, Christian, Source, Bing. And it might be different for, there might be, if it's a famous um, graveyard like the one in Dublin, I can't think of the name now where all the famous people are buried. There might be a Wikipedia article on about that graveyard and someone might have linked that as well. This one here doesn't have a name that should be changed.
So that was the node wave relation spelled out. And if I abbreviate that, zoom out again and delete these two lines. You don't have to abbreviate it, but sometimes it's it's handier so you don't end up, if you're looking for several things, uh, you don't end up with loads and loads and loads of lines. So I'm going to run this now. And you see it's the same result. And now we're going to look for ring forts. We use the wizard again. If you watch the other tutorial on how to add ring forts, you know that it's done. It uses three tags, historic, archaeological site, site type equals fortification and fortification type equals ring fort. But the most important one that we need is the fortification type ring for because the other ones are implied in that really. Fortification underscore type equals ring fort in county Kilkenny. And we'll run, build and run the query. And there are the results. And down here, by the way, I forgot to mention that before, um, it uses 3,972 nodes, or it found 3,972 nodes, 310 ways, and no relations. The number of nodes is so high, it doesn't mean there are almost 4,000 ring forts. Uh, it's because a lot of the, the ways are made up of nodes. But you see, it's 310 ways, and I would presume that's the number of ring forts that are mapped in Kilkenny probably most of them. Okay, so what do you do with this data now? Because this is nice enough, but you might want to a nice uh, map or you want to show someone the results. First of all, if you just want to show someone the results quickly and you don't want a fancy map to show them just to show them this map, you go up to share and it creates an, a permalink and you can just copy and paste that into an email or WhatsApp or Facebook or whatever. Down here you can tick include current map state, which means it's this part. I won't show you the whole of Ireland or something. And also I recommend ticking this down here, run this query immediately after loading, because they might not know what you're on about. They might not be familiar with Overpass Turbo, but if you take this and send it and they click on the link, which has changed now, as you can see, If I copy this and open a new window and put this in, this is like getting it in an email and clicking on the link. It builds the query on the left and runs it and displays the same map. So you can see it's identical. Okay, so this is how you share the link. But if you want to use it further on for the next tutorial, which is going to be about UMAP, you have to use export. And then you get several options how to export it. I usually, I used to use only OSM data, but now I'm, I've started using GeoJSON instead. You click download. and save the file and then maybe rename it into Rainforts Kilkenny or whatever you have been searching for. So you remember what it is because you might run several searches and then you can't remember. It will just be export one, export two, export three, and that's not really helpful. So rename it in your, it's going to end up in your download folder and rename it into what it is more systematic or what you could also do. If you know you're going to use it right away in UMAP, just copy it and it's going to be in your clipboard. And that's really all I wanted to explain. And if you want to learn about more commands on how to do a search, you can visit the wiki where it is all explained. As homework, I didn't give any homework in the last videos, but this one because we're going to use this data in the next step. 
run a query for ring forts in your area and download the data, rename the file and I'll see you in the next video.